This is a session with a two and a half year old Chow Husky mix. He was running the streets of Stockton. They rescued him about a year ago. He's two and a half years old now. They came out to me for people aggression, people reactivity, dog aggression, dog reactivity. He does not like to be messed with. Like he's a good dog. Uh, he's going to go down to this pool area and play and we're going to see a lot of happiness from him, which the owners were a little bit surprised about how much kind of he ran and had fun. He's a happy dog, but he's not messing around. Like he is not into people grabbing his collar, moving him, moving him off of couches, people petting him when he's lying down. He doesn't like any of it and he's not going to take it. And he growls and he will nip people, although not really bite the owners even. He'll even growl at the owners. They're doing the best they can, but... He is a tough dude, right? He, you, can, I see the chow in him. I see the chow in his, his attitude. I see the chow in his face. You might say, uh, I see the husky or a samoid, but I see the chow in him. He also acts like a chow. And he doesn't get in the water because he's a chow. They don't like water. But look how happy he is. We like to see this. We like to see him playing and running. Um, so he is going to meet a dog. He's going to meet Prince. He is going to get fed by me. Falls on his face right there. <clears throat> but we just want him to run around, smell the smells. I wanted him to get in the water. He didn't get in. So, again, people aggression, dog aggression. They both have their own unique challenges, the people stuff and the dog stuff. He was a tough case. He is a tough case because... We don't want to push a dog like this and you're going to see me at moments do something and then back off Because I don't want this guy. Not only do I not want to get bit. I don't want him to rehearse a bite That's a big big deal You can't be so start with treats. You've seen me do I'm a big fan of treats treats for this dog He was fine with me the whole time But treats are kind of an insurance policy like if I have to grab him he might be like, oh, yeah, that's the treat guy that's the guy who fed me chicken. And so he might, he might buy an insurance policy against a nip or against a bite. <clears throat> so you're going to see him now meet Prince. And this is where things are going to get a little crazy. You're going to get peed on, dude. It's like half assed though. See that like bark in the air? Yeah. Prince is play bowing right now. He certainly has worse bark where like his teeth are actually showing, but this is kind of like just his medium bark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean he's doing like a roo roo roo, like it's which is kind of happy. Which is like what he does a lot when we like take him to a dog park and like have him sit outside and he'll like like When's the last time he was with a dog? All right. That dog's actually nipped him once, so that, she's not that And how, what did he do with this, with the other dog? Just followed it or what? Uh, so they usually actually just keep their distance. Yeah, um, like, he's really energetic and he's just like... Loopy! Chill! Okay. Yeah, that's what we have Muzzle on. You're fine, dude. Hey! Chill. Get him, not, not Prince. Hey! Hey! Loopy! Hey! Loopy. Hey! Grab it. Pull him Loopy. away. Good job. Pull Loopy. him away. No. Pull him away. Hey. Good job. Good job. Hold on. Go ahead and let him go. Let him go. Yeah. Hey. Loopy. Loopy. Good boy. Okay. Walk away. You're doing great. You did great. We're going to let him know that's not acceptable behavior. So am I. Okay, so what you just saw, he went at Prince pretty good, pretty bold, pretty jerky. The good news is I don't think there ever would have been a bite in there. Um, dogs will try to bite through a muzzle. They kind of don't realize that there's a muzzle on, so they'll still try to bite. They realize something's on their face, but they don't realize that they can't bite. It's very, that's very true. So I'm just standing there in his line of sight. You've heard me say, hey, and grab him. Now runs up to, 
I'm letting it happen, letting it happen till I hear a growl. Then I tell him, get out of here, okay? I'm doing that thing you guys have seen me do a thousand times, which is, hey, and then shoo the dog away. He listens pretty good. You're gonna see me do this again in a minute. But he has to, I mean, he has to get with dogs, not like some of the other videos you've seen, because the bottom line is he, like, we could get this guy with a lot of dogs. I don't think it's gonna make a big difference on his life. He doesn't seem to enjoy their presence enough to say, yes, we need to get this dog with dogs. So right here, let's watch. Let's watch smelling. I'm petting Prince. I'm giving, pr I, that was a little look, like a dominance look. Um, a lot of smelling, we're letting it happen. I'm not terribly worried. That's why I'm just comforting Prince. I'm not terribly worried about this guy. And then wait, wait for it. And then right there. There was a look, there was a growl, there was something. And then I back him up. Now, I'm not willing to go any further than this. Okay, I think he's looking, he's saying, yeah, what are you gonna do, dude? And then he would probably try to nip me or something. Run up on Prince, and that was like a, just a jerky move. So I yell again, and I walk into him. Redirect him, we gotta mark that wrong behavior with the hay. He went a bit Prince right there, that was just not nice. So, back to what I was saying, a lot of the videos you see of mine, it's about getting the dog with other dogs because they slowly start to enjoy other dogs. They, they don't understand dogs, but they enjoy their company. I don't think that's him. I don't, he doesn't see, he, over this whole session, which I cut a lot out because it's boring, he doesn't ever go, oh yeah, I'm starting to enjoy this guy. He's getting less reactive, but he's never enjoying his friend. Like even this right here, look at him. There's no, I wanna go be with that dog. He doesn't want to go hurt that dog, but he doesn't want to be with him. So what's the point of being like, let's get this guy with a bunch of dogs? There's no point in it. And they, probably the main issue is the people stuff. And that's where this was hard. Because they've done the treat thing with people. People have gave this guy treats. He was, I think I said it, he was on the streets for much of his life. And with that chow in him, he is just like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let you quote unquote push, me. there's a run up right there, which I stop and back him off. He can't just do whatever he wants anymore. So he just is only gonna let people do so much to him. They can't grab him, they can't move him. The owners can, but normal people, other people can't. Peep friends coming over, I have to be careful when they pet him. And unfortunately, it's gonna take a long time to change that. I mean, you have to change the dog's very nature change the dog's upbringing. That's already done. Doesn't like the muzzle. It's all right, life isn't fair. You'll be fine. We are gonna take the muzzle off in a minute. Why am I gonna take the muzzle off? Because I haven't seen a bite yet. You notice when he really went at Prince, it was all body stuff. It was like body blocking and body moving, okay? So we're gonna take the muzzle off here in a minute. We're gonna take it off right now. And he's with Prince with no muzzle, which nobody would really probably get to. Most people, most trainers would never get to this. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying, I, I, but I didn't see a bite. I saw him being dominant. I saw him doing other things, a lot of body stuff, but I did not see a bite. So why would we now start, why would he now do a bite? He probably won't. So with Prince, off muzzle, doesn't care about Prince, isn't playing with Prince, doesn't really care. We gotta worry about the people stuff. So I talked to them about management, a lot of management. People should be coming over, people should be treating this guy, and then let this dude be by himself. No one, no random person needs to be moving him or grabbing him. Not that anybody grabs him, but like if he, he'll lie on his belly and someone will pet him and then he'll kind of, he'll growl at him or he'll nip at him. Just let him, let him lie. Let a sleeping dog lie. There's no need to mess with this guy. That was basically where we came to at the end of this because the other options are, it's, it's, it takes a lot of work on their part and the people's part coming over. I can't fix this guy. If he gets good with me and my trainers, it probably won't translate to that random person coming over to their house. That's the problem. I just don't think it will. I just don't think it will. So that's this guy. He's a good boy. He got with dogs. 
He made a kind of a friend. They have some, they have a lot to work on treating, treating him from random people buys that insurance policy of someone comes in, gives him treats, then they're going to be, uh, uh, and then he, they pat him and he doesn't like it. Then he might be like, Oh, that's the treat guy. I'm not going to, I'm not going to growl. I'm not going to nip. So that's the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Please comment any thoughts that you have. Please like the video, all that good stuff.